Most new vehicles come with an engine start button instead of an old fashioned keyed ignition switch. I thought it would be fun to make my own start button for my 1991 CRX. The center of this project is the Arduino, a microcomputer if you will. This project can be fairly easy if you have a basic understanding of electronics and cars. And you can revert back to the old keyed ignition switch if you decide to do so later for whatever reason. With this project, you can use any start button that you like, or any other type of button for that matter. There are other YouTube channels where they show you how to install an engine start button, but the way they do it still requires you to use the key. Counterintuitive much? First you'll need to buy an Arduino. The one I'm using is this Arduino Uno R3. It's about $24. But you can also go with a non-official version, such as this Sane Smart. And you can save a few bucks. This one you can see is just under $18. They both work fantastic. I've tried them both. Uh, so it depends on uh, which one you feel like getting. After you have an Arduino, you'll want to go to the Arduino website at arduino.cc and then go to the download tab scroll down and you can download the correct Arduino IDE for your platform I'm betting you'll be on Windows so you can go ahead and click on Windows installer download and install that after you've installed the Arduino IDE, go ahead and start it up. And this is what you'll see. Here's the code that I wrote for the Arduino. Uh, if you've never seen any code like this before, then it might look like really complicated. Uh, but it's not. This is actually a very simple code and it's actually very sloppy. Uh, so sorry about that. Now we're going to upload it. Once you've pasted the code inside the Arduino IDE, all you have to do is press this button, upload. And on the Arduino, you'll see the serial data lights flash as it receives the new code. Initially, I just used a proto board like this one. There's a lot of wires in it though, so I won't recommend doing it permanently this way. Some of the wires might come out and it won't be very reliable. However, I have had it like this in my car for over a month with absolutely no issues. A better way of doing it would be to use a prototyping circuit board like this one. This will be more reliable but still somewhat messy. The best way to do it is to print your own custom circuit board. This might be a little more complicated than the other options, but it's by far the best way. Here's a quick look at the process. I won't go into detail about how to do this. You can find other channels on YouTube that will show you everything you need to know about printing your own circuit board.
actually made two different circuit boards. The first one I did wasn't perfect, and it had some shorts in it. So I had to make a second one, and on my second attempt, I got it right. Here's some photos of the installation. I found that a good place to install the circuit board is on the steering column cover, under the steering column. Visit civicjunkie.com for more detailed information, pictures, diagrams, and code for the Arduino.